Welcome, dear viewers, to Couch Warrior TV on YouTube. I am the Good. Couch Warrior, and you are watching Ernest Arcana, a Skyrim I've scouted the Let's ruins, Play. And I'm certain Carlia is still inside. You saw her? No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. Yeah, I noticed. She won't be using it to escape. Let's get moving. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. Take the lead. You want me to lead? I'm sorry, I was under the impression I was in charge. You're leading and I'm following. Does that seem clear to you? Understood. Just make certain you keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. Please. I'm not going to be the one doing the blundering. I have a long-standing arrangement with the Dark Brotherhood. Murder is Dark Brotherhood territory. If I need someone in the guild taken care of, we do it ourselves. We both agree it's best to keep these matters in-house. All right, let's get on with this. Whoops. Keep your eyes open, your mouth shut. Mercer Frey is a very unsavory person and a clown, in my opinion. But he is who we are stuck with. Alright, we can't get in this. We're going to have to wait for him. Welcome back, dear viewers. Here we are at Snowvale Sanctum. We are looking for Carlia, who presumably is waiting for us in ambush in here. We are going to accompany the leader of the Thieves' Guild, Mercer Frey, into the barrows of Snowvale Sanctum. And see if we can locate and eliminate Carlia. That should do Fleet it. is still not entirely sure what Mercer's motivations are here. His explanation of what he believes Carlia's motivations are didn't really hold water, so. What I plan on doing here is. I plan on proceeding through Snowvale Sanctum as quickly and efficiently as an assassin would here. And we are also going to do everything we can to demonstrate ways in which an assassin can work sure. in conjunction with a follower Stench and not get here. completely screwed up. This place smells of death. Be on your guard. All right, I'm going to put an arrow down here. See if we can scare up anything. You'll see me do that a lot. Send out a test arrow. Looking for enemies. Mercer's probably not going to like the fact that I'm taking the time to loot things here, but personally, he's a putz and I don't really care what he thinks. We need the gold. It would be very unthief like to pass it up, so. We will go ahead and. Search thoroughly. All right, let's try this. Okay, it opened this chamber over here. A few potions, coins. What does this do? That was unproductive. Yes, yes, what is it now? If you see Carlia, don't hesitate. Kill her. Alright, we got that stuff. No, okay, here we go. I'm gonna back up into this corner. Now, we're gonna let Mercer take the lead here. There's one down already. Let him get engaged. And we just wait for our openings. Be careful. So ends the lesson. The trick is always shooting around your followers. Down here, see if we can scare up. Pull the chain over there and watch out for the spikes. You pull it's the like chain. Carlia reset all of the traps. These guys. Carlia.
Carlia is sounding uh, more appealing all the time. The more time I spend with Mercer, the more I'm thinking she would be the better person to work with, but... Alright. So, yeah. Obviously a trap, so... We'll kind of tuck ourselves out of harm's way here. Moving off to the side here, far left, taking my shot in case I don't take him out. That gives Mercer plenty of room to pass. Mercer is not a ranged weapon guy, so this is a great example of how you might team up with, with melee combat followers. Our objective is always to maintain the high ground. We're looking for good places to shoot from, and when we can, we're looking for places we can shoot from that will allow our companions to pass. in here. Just gonna take that stuff. Alright, I can hear footsteps, so we know we've got something to contend with here. There he is. Quick follow-up. If there's others in there, we want to draw them into that same area, since we have a clean shot. these traps, even though I don't think I would set them off. I do have light foot now. Alright. Okay, moving to the side for Mercer to get through. Put one in the wall. Draw his attention away what from the that? opening. Down. Hardly worth my time. Okay. Now I'm backing up. I got a stairway here. This works to my advantage. Staying to the left, I let him pass. Getting up the stairs allows me to shoot over his head into the enemy. So he can still engage in combat, and I still have an open shot. Use the stairs and the ramps whenever you can. There we go. Man, he is an arrow sponge. Come on, Mercer. I'm gonna do some damage here, man. Finish him. Yeah, look out, putts. You don't even know what you're doing. Lucky you have me here. You'd be dead. Okay. Loot these guys quick. I'm keeping some of these ancient arrows when I can, just because I need them for horseback. Okay, here we go. Clearing the way. <clears throat> He's insisting that we take point, so... Alright, we've got a tripwire here. I'm going to put one down there. Seeing if I can scare up any opposition. Nothing yet. Here's one. Okay, we dropped him. I'm going to trip this trap. That didn't scare up anything either, so if there's anything left in there, I would be surprised. Oh, there is. Okay, bow out. Okay, we're going to let Mercer be our meat shield on this one. There he is. Okay, here he comes. One in, stun, out of the way. Mercer's the meat shield, but that gives us a clear shot. It's because you didn't do anything, you numbnuts. Okay. Got a gold there, that's good. There's a few good things. I'm going to take all that stuff. Just a quick reminder for everybody. 
It has been a while since we did a dungeon crawl with Fleet. We are playing at master level difficulty. I have not made the switch to legendary, and I'm not sure if I ever will, to be honest with you. I'm pretty comfortable at master at this point, and I think it suits the story well enough. But just a quick reminder about that. I don't know that I've mentioned it much since the prologue, so... Okay. Some loot. Take it all. Now this affords us a great opportunity. This is an area where we're going to be forced to go into, so we can clean it out now from pretty good cover. There's one down there. It's two down. Is a skeever down there? We've got Mercer covering our flank. There he is. There's a lot of enemies down there. There's another one. Turn around, buddy. One down. There's the skeever. He's done. Scourge. This is great. Level 27. Master difficulty. Two-shotting Scourges from Stealth. Whoa, so much for our flank. Hello. Wow. Who's there? Good grief. You are useless. This is why I hate followers. Not only is he useless, but he's a jerk. I must have been hearing things. Yeah, you were hearing things. You were hearing draugers with two-handed swords descending upon us from the flank you were supposed to be covering. That's what you were hearing. Okay. Now, I think we kind of clean that area out. Well, here we go. We're going to take one guy, and then we're going to back up. We're going to let Mercer jump in there. We'll let him do some work for a change. Those whites are tough. Whoa, whoa. Oh, he's trying to run away. Oh, I got it, Mercer. I got it. I got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got him just as he went around the corner. Okay. There's a little bit of loot in here. Not too much. Not too concerned about these bone chimes. I think we've eliminated most of the opposition here, so... We're just going to move through here quickly. Here we go. Here's the ring. All right, make a note of the stairs here. If we do have to fall back, this is a great location. We can fall back up the stairs and shoot from an elevated position over Mercer's head if he charges into combat. Let's put one in for good measure. Well, there's somebody in there. Oh, there he is. We'll let him stand up. What was that? Your feeble attempt right. Now we've got an elevated position here. So ends the lesson. Very good. Let's have a quick look around. Anything in there? There's a skeever. Come on. Right down the throat. All right, I think we're in the clear now. I think we can safely loot these Draugr. There were a lot of them down here. It makes me very grateful that we had that little 
elevated hiding spot to do some damage prior to coming down here because it would have been a big mess otherwise. Whoops. There's two piled up here, but I think one is concealed from me. Let's try to change position here. There we go. Let's check this out up here. I'm not sure which direction we're supposed to go to continue through the barrow. One of these has to be a little side room or antechamber. I'm not sure which is which. I'm going to just go down this one here, get a sense for where it goes. And then if we have to turn back, we'll do that. I've noticed that even looting is faster on the PC. It's just so much more accurate what I what I can select. Speeds things up a lot. There's another Draugr. We'll take that ingot. Why not? Always cautious, always in sneak mode. Don't take any chances. We are on point after all. So if anybody's going to take damage first, it's going to be us. Okay. Yeah, this is continuing on, so we need to go back and cover that other chamber. So we will head back, explore that chamber we bypassed, and then we'll, we'll make our way back up here. Go up this way. Thanks everybody for watching. I'd like to take this opportunity to officially announce that this episode will be the end of Act 1. Act 2 begins with Chapter 6. Alright, this is a trap if I ever saw one. But that ship model, that looks like something Delvin would want. So, my guess is as soon as I pick it up, those pots are going to drop and the whole place is going to go up. So we are going to use the terrain to our advantage here. I don't really give a crap what Mercer does, but I'm going to see how far I can back up before I can still grab the ship. Then my goal is I'm going to snatch it and then backpedal as fast as I can off the edge of this little thing here. Go. And we took a little bit of damage, but not much. Look at Mercer, that clown. Yeah, I'm over here. I'm moving on, jackass. You do whatever you want. Okay. So that takes care of that. We've got a little bit of um, a little bit of loot to pass off to Delvin now. That ought to net us another 500 septums. All right. Open Snowvale Sanctum. Here we go. So far we're proceeding pretty rapidly. This has been great. Very efficient. This is how I love playing an assassin. Let's wake him up. Okay, Mercer shows up finally. He is going to be our meat shield. It frees us up to take these guys out. Okay. Come on, Mercer. Pull your weight. Come on, pull your weight. I'll spit on your corpse. All right. We've actually, you know, as much as I don't like the guy, we've actually been functioning as a decent team up to this point, so I can't complain too much. It'll be interesting uh, if we ever take fleet into the Companions quest line, how he functions with other fighters like Vilkis and so forth. Um, those guys are a little bit more in your face. All right, let's put one down in this crease. See if we get any reaction. Yeah, we do. We can hear some bone chimes, too. 
Come on, buddy. Here he is. Okay, one scourge down. No, get down there. How can you not see him? Oh, God. All right. We got the high ground here. This is what we want. We want him to go down the stairs. We want to use the high ground to shoot over his head. We have to keep moving laterally, though, in order to keep him out of our way. A little conjuration. That's good. This is going to get messy if we get more joining in. Okay. So far, we're keeping up. I don't know how long it's going to last, though. These whites take so many shots, even from surprise. It's amazing. What I really want is I want I want to keep pressing the attack. I want to be doing just enough damage so that Mercer continues to stay up. If he goes down, then they have nobody to focus on but us. And that is a recipe for disaster. So Who's there? That was worth my time. It wasn't worth your time because you didn't do anything. All right. Yeah. I don't think I need any more bone meal. Take the gold, though. Even in small amounts, it adds up. All right. It's all good stuff. I don't know about this one. over there. So am I going to wake somebody up here? Probably. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, now we're going to quickly backpedal and let Mercer get up in there. Position ourselves for the shot. There we go. Oh. Get out of the way. Now the other thing that that we have going on here too is that he's attacking from stealth position because we're in stealth position as long as he continues to do that it means between swings he's dropping down into a crouch and it makes it that much easier for us to shoot over his head just finish him off there you go all right that worked out pretty well so the moral of the story is stealth mode is your friend That was an obvious statement, but there's more than one way in which stealth can help you, so worth pointing out. Okay, that's somebody down on the here. Right track. She's been through here as well. A hulking one. I haven't seen one of those. Wow. Burned corpses. I'm not sure the significance of the burned corpses here. Okay, looks clear. I mean, this is just really sort of classic point or scout tactics I'm doing here. born ready. All right, let's do it. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see if we can take out one of these guys. Oh, no. All right, back to the routine. We're backing it up. We have a little bit of a disadvantage here, however. We can't fire over his head. Oh, now we've got the added disadvantage of having this Atronach blocking our sight line. What I really want to do is take out the source of the Atronach 
these guys are going to make very short work of him if I don't get on it quick here. Okay, Atronach down. Oh, that Scourge has got to go. we got to get the Scourge. In fact, I think I'm actually down an item here. Look at this. I'm not even using my necklace. Are you kidding me? That Scourge has to go. I can't get a very good shot at him, though. Alright, here we go. Time to retreat. Now, this is the scenario where they've basically disabled Mercer, so all their attention is on us now. Okay, the Scourge is done. Come on now. There we go. Come and get it. Excellent. I really think that's, you know, an assassin with a follower is not a great scenario, almost ever, but that example there I think was just making lemonade, it was about the best we could hope for, so let our follower tank for us, and then... Uh, do our best to sort of keep the fire rate up, but if for whatever reason we have to bail, then we bail. I was just lucky enough that at that point I had done enough damage already that I was able to one and two shot them. So Now another word wall. This is Fleet's third or fourth word wall. Okay, here he comes. Flip around. Done. Quick and clean. I love it. All right. I think the way is clear. Let's keep moving. Scout. Scout arrow. I'm beginning to think that maybe what I should do is take some of this footage and I'll actually make a new Death Mentor video um, regarding assassins and followers. So I think I'm going to do that. Look for that coming up in the not too distant future. Disabling traps, presumably for my followers. They don't necessarily affect me, but they could affect Mercer. Ah, it's one of the infamous Nordic puzzle doors. How quaint. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Since I'm certain Carlyle already did away with it, we're on our own. I wish I could watch close enough to figure out how he does this. It'd be cool to be able to open these without a claw. Somehow Mercer can do this, but no one else can. Let's get moving. So we're on point again. Per the routine. Scout arrow. Scare up the opposition. You keep stopping. Oh. Not good. Well, we found Carlia, apparently. Do you honestly think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your heart? Give me a reason to try. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Brew Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise, Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth, and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence. But I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. How 
interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final rest. There you have it. But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. Revelations and betrayal abound.